up how's it going boys hope you guys are doing well i know i am and today is a fucking day to be alive we watched blizzcon on stream at twitch.tv forward slash panorama the link is down in the description and uh we watched blizzcon together and a lot as well a lot of you guys have seen there was a lot to come in 2021 dude i am very excited and uh i just want to like recover everything that that you know basically just like the, like the main takeaways the the main importances and some things you might have you know looked past and not really noticed i got my twitch chat's opinion on the situation and everything that has you know that, that that they showed us and i am very excited um i'll i'll go ahead and show you guys if you guys haven't seen it this is the tbc trailer it's it's it they did a great job um the cinematic team did a great fucking job our team's always been good for blizzard dude always i'm so excited i'm so ready um there are a couple things that i saw that i completely disliked and uh th there's a couple things that i saw and i completely disliked um you know but we'll cover we'll cover those we'll cover those but there are a lot of good changes coming to classic tbc that is that i you know dude i was saying this shit eight months ago dude when the idea of classic tbc was but a tiny little sperm dude you know i, I was preaching that there needs to be difficulty get rid of spell bashing fix this fix that blizzard nailed the fucking nail on the head dude they did a great job they fucked up in some other areas but uh, we will cover all of that today very excited very excited but uh, again the art team did a great job and uh, i am very excited for everything that is to come blizzard finally grew a nutsack and decided to go with a uh, team you no know, small changes little changes right hashtag hashtag some changes i i fucking love that dude add difficult change the fucking game dude you know because like people think oh i want it like it was back in 2007 well you got it you got what was back in 2004 a classic and look how that turned out it was a complete shit show dude um blizzard has definitely you know brought themselves back into the fucking chair and been like okay you know what you know you guys got what you want now we're gonna bring you what we think you want and i i blizzard did a great great job of that they did a fantastic job we watched the round table talk together and uh it, it was great they, they, they did a great job again they fucked up in some areas but uh uh you know the first thing i'm gonna cover that that, that they say that's gonna happen is um the seal of blood so as you guys know a lot of uh there's gonna be a lot of faction imbalance you know the more that I've looked at it, I, I've noticed that, uh, you know, it's not going to be as bad as I thought it would be. Um, a lot of guilds, you know, like apes and whatnot are alliance, correct? And, you know, they're going to progress into classic TBC as an alliance guild. And there's a lot of guilds that are horde that are going to progress into classic TBC as horde, strong horde guilds. But, um, you know, Blizzard, you know, I, I like how they realized that there might be a faction balance. So therefore they made seal of blood going to alliance paladins as well, not just horde. They didn't take the wrath route where it's like, you know, in, in PvP, if you use a trinket uh, in, in PvP, your will of Forsaken's on a 30 second cooldown, vice versa, right? I'm glad that, you know, they didn't go that extreme. They went small and, you know, they're taking ba baby steps into the faction imbalance, you know, no situation, right? Giving both the Alliance players and Horde a seal of blood. I like that. That is strong. That is a very good, and, you know, it, it, it's it's the thought. It's the idea that, you know, they, they've thought that the, the faction imbalance might occur, which I, I really like that you know blizzard is fucking another w for them so the way they're doing servers you know this kind of like uh this kind of ir irked me a little bit but um th it doesn't look like there's going to be any fresh servers you know i have not lost hope yet there might still be new servers which i consider new servers fresh servers because people don't have thousands of gold or, you know or it consumes or whatever it may be right i'm still you know um, um hoping for that but the way they're doing it is they're going to be doing progressive servers, as many of you guys know. Um, they're going to do progressive servers. You know, you start, you start, and, you know, at, at, at 60, and you work your way up all the way to 70, and uh, you can carry your character from classic over to TBC, or you can have your character stay in classic. But with, but you're going to have to make a decision for each character. I like that. I like that. No flippy floppy, right? I like that. Once you've made this decision, your character will either stay in TBC, excuse me, stay in classic, or move on to TBC. I like that. That is strong. That is decision making. I like that. Now on to now, now onto a con before we go on to more of the pros. Um, one thing that really fucking pissed me off was the 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 the, the fifty eight boost. You can spend sixty dollars to boost your character up to fifty eight, but Panda they didn't give a price. Well, in in retail it's sixty dollars to boost to level sixty, so you know or, or level fifty. So it's most likely gonna be sixty bucks. I don't like that. I don't like boosting. What is the point of having previous content? Um, you know, classic leveling up. What is the point of any of that if you can just 
pay for a boost. Yes, it's only a one-time purchase on your account. You know, you know, you can only redeem it once. You can only purchase it once for one character. But then again, if anybody's smart, they're, they're you know they're gonna boost up a prop paladin for AOE farming and strat. You know, for gold, or they're just gonna make a druid. So you know, then you know, it, it's just it's just a butterfly effect, right? I they really could have done without it. At the same time, I do agree. I do agree with with the, with the call that they made by with, with a boost. I hate to say it, but I do agree with it, right? People that haven't seen my YouTube videos, people that aren't prepared, you know, they could spend one easy fee of, of 60 bucks to boost their character up and do, they'll, they'll get gear, they'll get their talents. Um, I, I, I wonder if they'll get their epic mount, you know, they didn't voice that, but uh, I, 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 I'm excited to see where that takes us. You know, I don't I don't agree with any kind of microtransactions, you know, the, the reason people play, you know, classic TBC and, and vanilla was because there were no microtransactions. Look at retail, it's a fucking arcade game, right? And I hope, classic tbc does it become that you know you know it starts with the leveling boost and then it, you know and the fucking pets dude you know pokemon wow you know that type of shit I, I i i don't really like that and i do not agree with this level boost thing but at the same time it is what it is right now on to another pro that, that, that they mentioned about classic tbc spell batching is gone we've known this you know they got rid of multi-boxers we know this but to hear them say it you know it, it feels so much better so we left off my shoulders because that that's that's another problem that classic face was spell batching people were like no changes right this goes back to the no changes people they were like no changes right and then they they, they get a taste of spell batching and they're like well this shit sucks dude what do you mean what do you mean a rogue can vanish my fire blast like, you know like what's my firebolt like, like, like it's you know it, it's wacky it doesn't belong in tbc and it's fucking gone i love the the, the you know the the sum changes that hashtag some changes i love that and i love the route that blizzard took with that good fucking call um another another complete fucking w for for blizzard would would be that um drenai and blood elves could level up in the pre-patch you know like in the you know when the, before the game comes out they could level up so then when the game comes out you're not behind i like that that is a good idea that is very solid because you know everybody's in hellfire peninsula and you're like you know all your buddies are in hellfire peninsula and you're like i'm in wetlands you know leveling up dude you know I, i'm still in silver moon city I, i'll catch you guys soon and then you know they're progressing you know dude i love i love what blizzard did with that that is fucking solid I like that. Another complete fucking W for for Blizzard, dude. They're adding difficulty again. I said this eight months ago that there needs Blizzard add fucking difficulty. Classic WoW was a fucking cakewalk, dude. Forty mages could do MC. It's easy. An example right here on your screen, Muru. He was he went through a lot of changes. Right, this simple boss right here went through a lot of changes. One of the best fights in, in TBC, in my opinion. He went through a lot of changes, but you know they're you know they're gonna add difficulty look at look at karazan for example you know um on endless the final boss has around two to three million health back in the day the final boss of karazan prince he only had 534,000 health right on endless people clear no problem that overtuned and, and endless is like times two overtuned right i like how they're adding difficulty if you have difficulty in a game it takes people longer to progress therefore longer wow subscriptions that is the fuck move blizzard you know they're they're fucking taking w's um another thing i said way back in the day dude was the phases so what i told them they're gonna be at least four to five phases of classic tbc and again i'm right because i am fucking amazing um but no the first phase is gonna be kara gruel's mac third on layer that is a good call you know that that's that's how it should be second phase ssc tempest keep again how it should be and then you have like then, then you have hydro and black temple how it should be right not like back in original tbc a lot of you may know um all the content was out at start it was all out start hydro was out at start right but people obviously couldn't do it because how the attunements work right you know you had to get attuned to everything it, you know it was a mess i like how blizzard is is taking it apart and you know doing it their way this is the way it needs to be done blizzard congratulations for taking another w uh, you know phase four season three pvp za catch-up gear if you're not catched up you'll be catched up for sunwell right phase five sunwell and final season of arena 
arena. It's going to be great, dude. Th th they're taking a lot of Ws with only, you know, minimal Ls. Me, Crix, were talking on stream in a Discord call. You know, I I'm like, we, we, we couldn't say it any better. I'm 80% happy with what Blizzard did with, with, with Classic TBC. They're doing a great job. Is there, is there fresh servers? No. Has the botting issue been fixed? No. You know, how the gold, how's the gold? Go? You no, know, there's a lot of smaller things that Blizzard hasn't, you know, even addressed. Maybe they will. If they, you know, maybe they're just going to let it blow over their head. But again, Blizzard, I'm 80% happy with what you have done. Again, you know, the, the boosts are fucking whack. I hate that shit. But the phases, you guys are laying out like a plan, just like Classic. That's good. Blizzard is learning. They're developing. They're like a machine, dude. That's, that's the thing. Once this business starts working like a well-oiled machine, they will be taking a lot more Ws. Now the date and the patches, of course they don't give us this information. You know what they say? Soon. Oh, 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 oh. when are we gonna get classic, uh, classic TBC? Uh, soon. But, but you're already able to access the beta. Let me show you. Right here, if you go, I'll, I'll leave this in the description so you guys can apply. If I were you, I would apply. This is the new, right here, Burning Crusade Progression Realms. Characters on Progression Realms will continue to experience content updates as they become available and will have access to all the features including Burning Crusade Classic, all current WoW Classic realms will, 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 will become progressive realms the way i see that and the way i perceive that is that every single wow classic server will be progressing in into tbc again there's a lot of dead servers what are going to happen to those if if blizzard wants to take a fat w get rid of the one-sided uh, uh servers whether it be super horde dominated or super alliance get rid of them make those people merge to another server or completely refresh the server and have it have that have the servers that are hoarder lights dominated have those be fresh new servers because there are a lot of people that will populate those fresh servers because they want new and there's also this one the classic era realms characters on era realms will continue to to play in the shadow of ne necropolis content update which is the final patch of uh, of classic we recommend this realm type for players who want to continue adventure only on azeroth before burning crusade classic la uh, launches you'll have the opportunity to move your existing characters to an era realm for free honestly classics dog shit why the fuck would anybody want to do that i don't know but there's a small percentage and at least blizzard is catering towards them that is good blizzard is looking for multiple perspectives which i i'm glad this company's doing now if you scroll down you know you see the r the the, the manual and by the way by the way don't get it fucking twisted boys i've been doing this shit for years i used to read this fucking book you guys remember this big ass fucking book i got tbc right here i got the fucking tbc fucking free j trial code boys i got it all dude tbc is my favorite expansion and i'm very excited that blizzard is taking this shit serious yes you see it right here on your screen make sure you join the beta all you have to do is scroll down you know fucking click that shit immediately and uh you know you'll be able to join the beta as as you guys see i have already joined it it'll, it'll do its thing but you've already opted in i'm excited boys it's gonna be sick it's gonna be awesome and uh, i hope to see each and every one of you guys there but even better news the new the new the new the new endless pve refresh we got a date on that motherfucker jerry decided to get out of his mom's basement and tell us the date and i'm very very excited i'm very happy that that, that was a joke i actually really love jerry great great guy but uh on the 28th of this month the pve refresh will be happening on endless if you guys want to taste what tbc is like and you want to be ahead of the curve you want to be prepared make sure you join that and uh you know if not then you know you guys are always welcome to stop by to twitch.tv forward slash pandorama link down in the description i love to have each and every one of you guys there with everything said with this video being done i just want to say i'm going to try to um go big dick from now on i'm going to try to be uploading a, 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 a tbc content every other day that means you're going to get at least three or four videos every week that is going to be strong tbc content i want you guys to be prepared as soon as you step in that dark portal we'll be covering stuff that you can invest in early things you know when should you sell the stuff that you have invested you know priest guides priest deep dives macros rotations add-ons stuff pve pvp it's fucking limitless boys and i am very excited to take each and every one of you guys into the dark portal with me and I love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. And I hope you guys are excited as much as I am. So that's basically it, boys. If you guys like the video, subscribe. Leave a you know, leave a comment down in the description. Panda, I'm fucking excited. I'm about to explode. You know, I hope you are. You hope you guys are. Um, that's basically it, boys, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.